Hello students, we are discussing the third lesson of science that is forests. Till now we have discussed about the conditions required to develop a forest, importance of forests, advantages of forests and the forest product that means the products that we get from the forests. Now today we will discuss about the deforestation. You all know the cutting down of trees is called deforestation. And we now know that forests are very useful for mankind. However, some of us cut down trees in an unplanned manner due to their own selfish interest. This is neither right nor desirable. So some people cut down trees in an unplanned manner. Unplanned manner means they cut the trees but in place of them they are not planting more trees. So that is unplanned and if there is a requirement of two or three trees they are cutting ten trees. So that is the unplanned manner. And they are cutting unnecessarily just to earn money. Now human beings cut forests because of the following reasons. So there are some reasons for which the human beings are cutting down the forests. Need more land to make houses, industries and for agriculture. You know that the population of the world is increasing day by day. And for this population, we need houses, more and more houses and they also need other products, more and more of clothes and more other things. To fulfill their requirement, we have to put up new industries and more population needs more food and for that we need more land to grow the crops if the requirement of the people keeps on increasing population keeps on increasing then the requirement of food also keeps on increasing then the land required to grow the crop will also increase so for agriculture use that is so we need we get this land by cutting down the forests so that's why we need more land next is your need wood for construction you now understand that we need more houses for more population and for building the houses we need more wood for making furniture, making doors, windows and for other construction work. Next is the need, humans need some trees for specific use. Specific use means for example for making papers and many other things for which we need wood. So. Human needs some trees for specific use which they cut without planting more of them. So cutting down of trees for particular or specific use is fine but we must plant more trees in place of them. That means if we are cutting 10 trees then in place of that we must plant at least 50 or 100 trees. So such activities are leading to drastic reduction of the forest cover on earth. So in this way the forests are keep on reducing day by day and the, but the government has made laws according to which cutting down of trees is a punishable offense. Government has done his duty by making the law 
बट अ लोन गवर्नमेंट कान डू एनी थिंग बिकॉज पीपल ऑल्सो बी अवेयर अबाउट इट दे ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दीज फॉरेस्ट सो दैट दे कैन प्लांट मोर एंड मोर ट्रीज एंड दे विल नॉट कट द ट्रीज सम पीपल्स डोंट पैदर बोदर अबाउट दीज लॉज एंड दे कीप ऑन कटिंग डाउन द ट्रीज when some trees need to be cut a large number of trees must be planted so whenever we cut any tree we must plant a large number of trees as i have discussed earlier that if we cut 10 tree, trees we must plant at least 50 or 100 trees or plants now what is the effect of this deforestation that is it is good or bad it is obviously bad so we will discuss the harmful effects of deforestation deforestation is not a good thing it has a adverse effect on the environment and on the earth so we will discuss them one by one cutting down of trees by man is very harmful and it leads to the effects of deforestation are decrease in rainfall in the surrounding areas as i have already discussed in previous video also that trees help in bringing the rain and if the trees are keep on decreasing you know that forests are keep on cutting then what will happen if there is no tree that means there is less rainfall or no rainfall so because of the deforestation the rainfall is decreasing in the surrounding areas increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that can increase the global warming this also we have discussed that when plants prepare food they absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen and as the trees are keep on reducing that means due to deforestation we are cutting down the trees and the number of trees are becoming less then what will happen the amount of carbon dioxide that are absorbed by the trees will also reduce and the amount of carbon dioxide keep on increasing because we are polluting the environment through our vehicles through industries we are emitting the smoke with these vehicles and industries and by burning the fuels so we are increasing the carbon dioxide but it is not absorbed as much as it is released so it keeps on increasing and because of this carbon dioxide the temperature of the earth rises and which causes the global warming and this also have a adverse effect on the climate of the earth the glaciers start melting the ice start melts and the level of the sea will increase due to which many cities get flood now increase in soil it sorry decrease in the level of ground water in the nearby areas so as we have discussed earlier that forests help in increasing the ground water level as the roots of the trees absorb water and seeps that water under the ground 
and then the groundwater level get recharged. But if the number of trees got decreased or due to deforestation, then the groundwater level will also decrease because the water which is taken out by the human beings does not get filled up again because there is a shortage of rainfall and second thing the roots of the trees cannot absorb the rainwater because there are no trees left to absorb that rainwater. Next is increase in the soil erosion that can cause more frequent flood. This can result in widespread discussion destruction you all know that floods are very dangerous it can cause lots of destruction it takes away life of many people and loss of property so increase in soil erosion as we have discussed that the trees reduce the soil erosion but if there are no trees then what will happen the soil erosion will increase and due to which the flood will comes frequently you must have as we live in the hill areas you must have heard about the landslides why this landslides happen Actually, the trees that binds the soil, that holds that part of the mountains or the soil of the mountains. But when we cut those trees, what happens? To build the roads or to build the houses, then that soil becomes loose. And in rainy season, that what due to this soil erosion, this causes the land slides so there are many harmful effect of this soil erosion next is your destruction of habitat of a number of plants and animal you all know that number of animals live in the forest that is the home of the animals it provides food and shelter to animals and when we cut the trees we are cutting their homes so the habitat of a number of plants and animals is destructed now the question is how we protect the forests we have discussed about the deforestation causes of deforestation what are the reason behind the deforestation and we have also discussed the harmful effects of deforestation but how can we stop this deforestation or how can we protect these forests so this is the question and we will discuss this in the next video. Thank you.